Hey, I'm Captain Eddie. I'm out in the shop hanging out, doing a few little things. You know, but Father's Day is coming up, and I got an idea for you. And you always have to let them know what you want, right? Pick an item out. And, all right, all you want to do. Oh, you know, I don't you know. Watch. Hey, I'm out in the shop doing a little of everything and paying attention to most of the rules. Uh, and, oh, wait, you think this is a fashion statement? This is the ugliest things I've ever had on my, my eyes. They're green. Why? I'll explain it in a minute. But it's not a fashion statement. The deal on the rules that I have to obey right now is, number one, pay attention to all the rules. Number two, got to go slow start. And number three, if I get hurt, go out back and bury myself. His wife has got nothing to do with me at that point. All right, out in the shop, I've sharpened up some tools, cleaned up some tools, removed some rust, labeled up some stuff, generally picked up. I mean, I got to work with the FEMA people to get that thing cleaned. But I've been out fooling around some stuff I bought over the last two years. Because you don't have a wood turner. Even if I don't need it, I'll buy it. Um, and I'm on a budget like you won't believe. I mean, she's going to check my pockets for change. All right, a good friend of mine in Ocean Spring, Mississippi, Mr. Johnny Hughes, he became a good friend when he joined us first meeting of the of the worldwide woodturners.org yep johnny was there he drove in two and a half hours to meet us and join up uh but johnny has got is a really good mechanic a wooden mechanic a turning mechanic a turning artist except that artist thing i don't really like that term but he's really good and johnny last year was showing us on a worldwide woodturners program on wednesday evenings on zoom uh, about a little project that he he purchased, and this is it wasn't this right here, it wasn't the wood thing. It was what made the wood thing so special. Do you see that? Yeah, I'm looking right at it, and you're looking at it too. That's laser engraved. Now, as soon as Johnny told me about this, I said, "Well, you know what? I was looking at one of those before I got a little bit uh, under the weather." And but they were five six thousand dollars a piece, and that was not even a bargain. I'm still going to get it, but things change. Think about what COVID did to the world. Johnny developed or uh, purchased this product. It is simple. It's a Nije or Nije, N E J E Master Two. All right. It is a laser that is desktop. You're going to love this thing. I mean, well. Right now, I'm going to swing over here and show you. See that? That's the whole gizmo. That's everything right there. That and all of its components fit in that one green box. Where's the box? Right there. All of it. So I can pick it up, set it up, use it. I'm going to show you a couple of things we're doing with it. I'm going to get a little rundown on what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the Niji NEJE Master 2. Now, the red thing in front right here, that's my clipboard, and I got it up on risers so I can get the dimension right on the height of the, the beam to the surface. And that's not a, extremely critical, but if you can play with it and get it just about right, you're happy with it. I can fine tune it using that little knob right there on the end. I can fine tune it to get a real fine dot. That's the dot that I'm going to be cutting with. What is this on the bottom? That's my working surface. It's a piece of 6 by 6 of that 1 8 inch. Uh, card uh, plywood. All right. What's in the middle? That's a two-inch round disc, just like this one and this one. Um, and that's what I'm engraving on right now. And I get some great detail. I mean, the detail I'm getting is unbelievable right now. Look at that. Now that's what I can put on the bottom of my piece. And I had that blown up a good bit. Now it does do the QR code very nicely too. You see that? You scan that, you'll get my website. Yeah, my website, because that's what I put on the back side of the coin. So I know what it is. See the little EC, you know, right inside? Yeah. All right. So we do that. Now, also, we can use these dog tape like tabs. That's one I was working on. I had the heat along. See, it's a little bit burned up, but I can play with that heat temperature and the time, and there's a QR code on the back. So just something you can, if you're looking to do something on your work, you have a lot of versatility with it. Now, what is it doing? It's talking to that computer wirelessly. Yes, wirelessly is talking to that computer. That computer, that little image in the center, 
right there. That's what I generated. What did I do? I wrote my name in a PowerPoint program. I'm a Macker. And then I made a copy of it, made it a JPEG, transferred it, moved it on into my pictures setup. And I went to pictures and picked this as a photograph. And that photograph was going to that head. That head knows it. Now, I'm wireless, no extra wires. They have a cables if you want to go to Cableway. But also, see this one over here? That's my iPad. I can talk to it from my iPad. And I'd like to show it to you, but I can't because I'm holding it. It'll come from my iPhone to give that information. Girls are all apps that are available. Now, get this. I spent less than $200 on this unit. Less than $200. i have added a few components to it. What I've got involved in is about $241. Yes, I bought a, a, a bag of these loops, a bag of these discs, a bag of little loops. And I was wondering, what would the little loops be good for? The, the little bitty ones, I think I got one. Yeah, I, I did this for Ronnie Barnett. Yeah, see a little piece of art on the backside. Oh, I did have a Kim Tippin. I sent her some also. But I was playing with it, and I realized that this is as big as I need to put my name and the date and all on and the QR code and then if I put a three quarter inch recess in the bottom of my piece I can just bloop, put it in a little CA and ha 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 in fact I just decided that's what I'm going to do on my wig stands see how you just keep thinking it keeps coming to you keep thinking well this is an EJ an EJ I like it if you're interested I'll put the link on it back into the program I think you'll like it. Let's get back to when I was talking to you. Currently, the worldwide wood turn is on this real push. We're not by ourselves. We've got a lot of other people out there helping us. But we're developing wig stands for ladies who have had treatment for different diseases. And they go as shiny on the head or shinier than I do. A lady can't work with that. They, they can't lose that much of their dignity. Need a wig. Most of them do. Well, the people that provide the wigs in the medical end of the world give you the wig, but they don't really give you a good stand. Might be different in some places, but we've had this project. I mean, take a look at this photograph right here. This is a package of 10 that Ronnie Bonnet did. Now, Ronnie's up to 35 or 40 right now, and today he's told me he's got another 35 or 40 to cut out because his source for delivering them says, hey, where they at? So we're doing these wig stands, but... On the bottom of the wig stand, you want to put your name and the date and some other stuff on it. It's really a nice thing to do. So what Johnny and I were talking about and what he did is he did a circle with Lighthouse Wood Turners on it. That's the name of his club. Well, there's one for our club, Worldwide Wood Turners. Now, so on. All right, the back side, you know what that is? That's a QR code. Probably if I do this right and you zoom in on that with your camera, it'll scan up and show you WorldwideWoodTurners.org's website. I got the right one. Yeah, that's the right one. Because I'm also doing it for Big Eye Productions. But I am thinking about, well, I'm not thinking about it. I'm going to do some wig stands. And once I had the circles cut, the bottoms, and got my div divot put in them, that's, that's a little bit, and that's not real artsy, but it's necessary. Then while it's still solid, I'm going to take it, put it under the laser engraver and put the logo and the date, and my name and best wishes and all that on the bottom of it. Or a platter. I've got some platter projects in process right now. Take a platter and burn it into the bottom of a platter. Hey, they can't erase it. They can't mark it out. Mm, it won't go away. So you can mark it up. Now, what can you do? If you're going to do a Celtic knot, yeah, a Celtic knot on a piece all around the outside piece print it out, run it through the laser burner, and put that right on the piece. Then you can enhance it or whatever. <laughs> a little bit of cheating, but it makes for some good uniform art. Even if you just do the points that you gotta work to. There's a lot you can do with this. Great bottle stoppers, ink pens. Yeah, they have a little gizmo that goes on this that'll roll your ink pen around so it, it does the right thing. Coffee mugs, including those uh, stainless steel ones with the coating on the outside. And, go black when you when you put the laser on them you can do wood plastics leather uh-huh torino leather's right down the street i'm gonna go get me a stay she won't let me drive down there so as soon as i can go down there and get me a piece of leather 
I'm going to try a little something on leather. Oh, yeah, it's all on YouTube, how to use it, and where to get, how to how to organize it, how to put it together and all. Now, you can buy it from Niji or Nancy McIntyre. I'll put her information on the back end of this thing. You can go to Amazon and buy one. That's right, Amazon. Uh, especially if you get the wife's credit card for Amazon. Good Father's Day. Say, oh, honey, guess what you just got me? Uh, but it's a nice thing. If you want to play with it, go ahead. It's fun. I just came up with this. Yep. That's my name, Big Eye Productions. On the back side is my QR code. You can scan that. You can see the QR code. But the beauty is on this QR code. It's, it's like those little barcodes in the back of packages that the grocery store with. Zoop and tells you everything that goes on it. Uh, this gives you more than that. This is like the next step now. In a couple of weeks, it'll be one dot, you know, and, and, and that'll take you everywhere. But it's handy. You scan this, go right to the website. You go to the club website. If you want to join Worldwide Wood Turners, that's free. If you want to join Worldwide Wood Turners, come to our meeting or whatever, you scan a little QR code, toop, you're on the website, go join meeting, toop, you're there. It's all right in front of you. You don't have to open a book. I mean, if you want to watch it on your iPhone, can't do it on my iPhone. You're there on my iPhone right now. You can. It's called the Niji NJ N E J E um, laser cutter, and you'll find it. I'll, I'll put a, a link to it. All right, may if it works out, it'll be right here, and it'll be on the back end. Okay. Well, I'm out in the shop. I'm getting a little bit of something done. <laughs> you have no idea how long I've been waiting to get out of here. Really. You really don't have any idea. I don't want to bore you with it, but you don't. All right. Hey, hey, don't forget, Big Eye Productions is still in business. We still sell carbide cutters, bars, templates, bearings. Oh, did I say bearings? John called me this morning. He's from Texas. You know how those people are from Texas. I do, too. They're pretty nice guys. Um, John gave me an idea for a rolling pin. I got to play with this one. I think we have something going here. It's a rolling pin. Oh, did I say magnets? I wasn't supposed to say magnets. It's a rolling pin. That's all you really need to know until we do it. And it's a good beginning project. And if you think you'll make, you'll get points for Father's Day projects, think of what you'll get if you do a nice Mother's Day project. No, no, don't give it a rolling pin before then. I've heard stories about that. Oh. I'm Captain Eddie Castle, and I'm out in the shop, and I'm making shavings. I'm looking for you. Hey, go to Big Eye Productions or www.eddiecastlin.com. See what we got there. Yeah, we might be able to help you out. Wood turners, helping wood turners. Best part in the world. I'm making shavings. Get good. Mm -hmm.